I mean, the idea, the secret of the compliments is, you know, they've done studies where um, when you compliment like insincerely, people know it as opposed to being sincere. And quite frankly, you want to find an attractive girl that you tell her she's beautiful. It makes you feel good and it makes her feel good. One of the best, you know, experiences in my life, like the first time, you know, when I was like trying this out, I was like, okay, why is it this indirect stuff not working? You know, why is like going around asking girls who lies more? Why isn't that working for me? One of the best experiences, I told this like really lovely girl that I thought she was beautiful. And she lit up. She was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And we had like this, like, this really nice 30 minute conversation because she was amazed that I had like the confidence to go up and talk to her. Again, the idea of direct, the idea is not to hide your intention, not to protect your ego. There's a difference between going direct and like cat calling, okay? There's a difference between telling a girl she's beautiful. It's like, damn girl, look at your badonka dog. Come on over here. <laughs> That's not it. That's not it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, damn it. Um, the, the fuckable line, yeah. <laughs> Not all of us are born tall, dark, and handsome, but we can be short, stunning, and smooth. Um, the reality is, women are not as physically oriented. I mean, they, they, they like a man that obviously looks good, um, is handsome, and all that. But we only need, as men, to reach a certain level, all right, that a physical level, all right, and then from there a personality can bring us above that line. Again, you know, not all of us are going to be born tall, dark, and handsome, but we can be confident. We can become masters of conversation, or just being fun, bringing the fun, being interesting. Like I've had girls that say, like, you're like the most interesting Asian man I've ever met. I'm like, you know, like, thank you. It's like now you can die. It's like. Uh, be in the moment, banter, and buying temperatures. Like, are you a fun maker? Are you a fun <laughs> taker? This is the idea of just, do you bring the fun? Are you animated? Are you expressive? Being real. Um, just a lot of the ability to bring energy, to bring value to a conversation. All right, to not be boring. Don't be bland. Don't be forgettable. Don't be replaceable. Just humor. Um, can I get a quick female volunteer? These are just little quick games. Can I, can I get a few? Yes. And your name, my dear? Clarice. Clarice. Let's get a hand for Clarice. <laughs> All right. Now remember, um, these are just little, little quips, just fun little things, Clarice. So we're probably in the middle of a conversation. And I'm just playing around. We're at that moment. We're still flirting. We're still teasing. I'd be like, do you work out? Every day. Every day. Awesome. Here, flex for me. Flex. No, really, flex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. I tease. I tease. I kid. All right. So let's say we're, we're dancing. Or I see her dance. I'm like, oh my god. I'm so glad that you do not have CRD. CRD. What's CRD? Caucasian rhythm disorder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Again, a fun little thing I like to say. How good is she? Though? <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, what the? <laughs> um, here, give me high five. Give me paper. All right, give me the rock. All right, give me scissors. <laughs> Come on, give me scissors. Ah, oh, she's naughty. <laughs> just a fun little thing. These are just fun little things. They don't mean it. All right. And credit to this one goes to Gareth. This is good for the, the ice queens. Like here, poke my butt. Poke my butt. No, no, no really. Poke my butt. Oh, poke my butt. Poke my butt. Poke my butt. Poke my butt. Stop it, you pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just fun little things. That's all they are. Um, Pillsbury Doughboy. Okay. Here's a quick little fun story. So, have you ever been to France? Every day. Every, every <laughs> 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 now she's on automatic. No, no. <laughs> have you ever been to France? You've been to Paris? You know the interesting thing about French TV? Tell me. They speak in French. Right? <laughs> All right? It's weird, right? So I was watching, and then the Pillsbury Doughboy comes on. You know Pillsbury Doughboy? I'm, yeah. You're familiar? Okay, what I is it? I date with him once. You, you did? Okay. <laughs> so if you poke, poke, like, pretend I'm the Pillsbury Doughboy. All right, wait a minute. Hey what now. does he say? Wait a minute. <laughs> what does he say, pardon me? What does he say when you poke him in the belly? Eee. Woohoo, right? Right. Now, what does he say in French? Here, poke me. Come here. 
Oh. <laughs> Alright. Again, silly. It's fun. That's all it is. Um, and then there's like more kind of PUA type uh, be, uh, BT spikes. It's the idea of like spinning a girl like this. Like we, it's a simply way of dancing. You can do a little bit more advanced, you go like this, spin, then like that, kind of deal. Or you can dip, or um, let's grab a little bit more. Guys, put it go here. This is something I am somewhat known for a lot of just key manning. Um, I guess this is just a lot more dominance. The idea is like, what's your spin? Like this, like this, woo! <laughs> like that. And just spinning her. It's just, again, obviously you wouldn't do that during the day. But at the club, <laughs> it's just a lot more fun. Thank you, Clarice. Let's give her. Um, some social circle stuff, college. I'm not going to lie. Um, like I said, I had no game in college. Right? I was lucky enough to be one of the few guys in the entire campus to have a girlfriend. Uh, um, we're social circle, slower burning. Limited expansion. I mean, you're, you're pretty much limited to what you are currently unless you enter other social circles. Um, there's not a lot of vertical movement. If you come into a social circle and you're already at the bottom, it's really tough to move because everybody has a certain perception about you. Right? They expect you to act that way, to be that way. Who here, when you go home to like mom, she like treats you as a little kid, mine does. I still to this day, like I could be alpha is all I want, but I stay over at my mom's place for two weeks, I'm gonna be her little bitch. I mean, we, I mean, we just, we conform. As much as we hate it, we conform to other people's expectations, especially if there's a lot of social pressure being applied. Um, there's only really a lateral movement. Right? This is how, when you move from one school to the next, you can reinvent yourself. If you're a loser, at one school, you can go to another school and be a new person, a better person. All right, no one knows you. No one knows all the weird stuff that you did, all the mistakes that you committed, all the faux pas. Um, there's always a built-in social value. Let's say you get introduced into a social circle. It's always be better to introduce to like the the most interesting guy and the most alpha guy or the hottest girl, because based off of that person introducing you into the circle people assume by association that you, you know, you're friends with this person, that you have some built-in value. Um, words, word spreads fast. If you're trying to sleep with all the girls or you're sleeping around with all the guys, word spreads fast. People talk, girls talk, guys talk. Right? So you have to be careful. It's not, you know, that's the nice thing about cold game. It's like when you go to a bar or club, you don't know anyone, you make mistakes, you have like a one night stand or maybe a girl that you're not quite particularly, you know, want to brag about to your friends. Like the next day, it's like a video game, it just resets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it starts to circle, everyone knows your business. Right? And, um, you know, in social circles, yeah, women are on the lookout for different types of guys. They may be on the lookout for a good time, or they may be, you know, in college to get an MRS degree. Depends. It's the idea, like, women do judge. You guys heard, like, that Duke Lacrosse PowerPoint presentation? Where the woman, like, some girl, like, slept with the entire Duke Lacrosse team, and then ranked each single guy based on how good he was, how good in bed he was, <laughs> and how big his penis was, and how long he lasted. Uh, and then she spread it to all of her friends. Uh, it went viral. Uh, people, you know, girls do talk about this. Uh, um, basic, you know, I'm sure everybody thinks about it. I get this question all the time, how to get your ex-girlfriend back. I guess maybe it's me as like, you know, once I've moved on, I've moved on, I don't really care. But the idea is, if she broke up with you, she broke up with you for a reason. She has some sort of pre-built image of you. Maybe you got desperate. Maybe you got lazy. Maybe you got fat. Who's, who's done that? Like, you get the girl, and you're like, it's like awesome, but then you just get lazy, and you, just, you stay at home, and you play video games, and she's just all around. Maybe you're smoking pot all day, <laughs> whatever. Uh, you just get lazy. You let yourself go. Who's, who's done that before? I think 
We're guilty of that. No one's raising their hand, but all the girls are looking around. <laughs> <laughs> you need to change that image, because you know you need to show that yourself in a different light. And the idea is you can't change a woman's mind, but you can change her mood. One of the easiest ways to do that is simply throw a party. Uh, you may have inadvertently done this. You throw a party, and you have like a lot of the cool friends, a lot of girls there. See the concept, the psychological concept of social proof. When a woman smiles at you, other women find you attractive. They've done studies where you know they put pictures of a guy in the middle, and he was surrounded by women. Like, okay, whatever. But that same picture, there's no difference. Right? It's still the same guy. You surround him with smiling, beautiful women. Women will automatically think he's more attractive. It's not conscious, but it's like you know breast implants. For all of a sudden, he's just hotter. So if you throw a party and you have like your ex-girlfriend there, and she sees that all these other people find you attractive, find you interesting, find that you're a leader of people, then it's the unconscious, unconsciously she does find you more attractive. So that's one thing I've had a lot of students have success with. They just meet a lot of people, and all the people they meet at bars and clubs or during the day at libraries and coffee shops throw a party, a barbecue, ex-girlfriend shows up, and all of a sudden, this guy that got lazy or maybe wasn't that cool to begin with is now like the life of the party, the center, the <laughs> epicenter of all the attention. She will look at you in a different light.